Fernando Sor was born in Barcelona in 1778 to a middle-class family. A child prodigy, he received a formal musical education at the legendary Benedictine Monastery of Montserrat, where he soloed with its famous choir, the Escolania. Fernando sustained lifelong reverence and profound faith. Here is an example of his devotional music, an Ave Maristella. Fernando's favorite instrument was the guitar, and he composed many works in traditional Spanish genres, such as segudilla and bolero. Here's a taste of a beautiful segudilla, sung divinely by Jessica Bachicha. Fernando also loved the Italian opera, and at age 17 he wrote an original score for the libretto Il Telemaco. It was performed at the Barcelona Theatre to great acclaim. Here's an excerpt from its overture. This success led to an invitation by the ravishing Duchess of Alba, who sponsored Fernando at her Liria Palace in Madrid. There he became friends with Francisco de Goya. The Duchess encouraged Fernando to compose for solo guitar. Here's the beginning of his Grand Sonata, Opus 22, dedicated to Chief Minister Manuel de Godoy. But in 1808, Napoleon decided to dethrone the decadent Bourbon monarchy. He installed his brother Joseph on the Spanish throne, which precipitated the bloody uprising of El Dos de Mayo and the horrific Peninsular War. Fernando served as a captain in the Spanish army and composed many patriotic songs. 
Here's an excerpt from one of them, Los Defensores de la Patria. But as carnage and chaos descended on Spain, Fernando and thousands of liberal Spaniards decided that the only way to end the conflict was to swear allegiance to King Joseph and his Napoleonic constitution. But unfortunately for all concerned, Napoleon's Grand Armée was bled white and forced to abandon Spain in 1813. British General Wellesley then reinstated the tyrant Ferdinand VII as king. Every Spaniard who had supported King Joseph and Enlightenment values now had to flee Spain or face imprisonment, if not death. So Fernando eloped with his childhood sweetheart Joaquina, crossed into France, joining thousands of his compatriots in exile. Yet only by leading Spain could he attain his magnificent destiny. <laughs> 